cannot believe this. I think he crashed right there. The shot was a little back. But he was cool. Oh. Quartering away a little bit. That might, this might be the biggest buck of my life. Oh my god, I cannot believe that happened. Oh, you're on the board. Boom. Look at this deer. Freaking stud. This is without a doubt the biggest deer of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Six oh nine. Only an hour and nine minutes after we said we were gonna leave. <laughs> hey, I was up. And an hour and a half minute drive turned into a two hour drive when we finally looked to see how far it is. I so we will you, get there at one point. I texted you, how's this work? At 5.04, are you up? No response. Yeah, but at 5.30, when he got a hold of me, he said, I'm getting in the shower. <laughs> Well, we were making pretty good time for a late start, but uh, now we're heading back the way we came because I have everything I need. I have my sticks, I got my platform, my camera arm, everything. But uh, there's one pretty important thing, the, uh, the actual saddle, and it's hanging on my wall. So I'm going to kill it. We only had about 45 more minutes to drive. So, they got an hour and 45 minutes now. But I got somebody meeting us halfway with it. Took some bargaining, but we'll get there eventually. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> What'd she say? She just rolled the window up on me. She didn't even filter. <laughs> Not happy. All right, let's go. Now, are we gonna be responsible the rest of this trip? Everything's gonna go perfectly as planned and we're gonna go shoot a 200 inch buck. Here, Here. minus 80. We just made it up here to the first pin drop we got, getting our boots on. Let me tell you, we pull into the very first spot and there's a rub right there. So if that ain't a good sign, I don't know what is. Yeah. We're gonna hike in here. There's a couple little spots we wanna check out that we looked up on the map on the way to the pins. So we're gonna do a little scouting and see what we come across, but I don't know. It's just, it's big buck country. So, we're gonna see what happens. Spot number two. Gonna go in here, give her a good old look-see. See if we can't find some deer sign. You're freaking ready. This is what the people want, man. This is what they want. Okay, see you in a minute. Yeah, if we gotta take a crap out or something, we know where to go. Tired. 
<clears throat> His girl parts are showing.
quartering away a little bit. He did exactly what I thought he, a buck would do. There was a drainage on the other side of this ridge right here. He walked right up the drainage, and the sucker walked ten yard, eight yards from me. I just smoked one on the first morning. I ain't kidding you, dude. <laughs> I don't know, 125 inches. He's like a nine, he's either a nine point or a 10 point. I almost passed him, but he, he walked through the base of my tree. I had to let my bow down twice to move the camera while he was under me. <laughs> dude, I built you. <laughs> Big, just a, a tight he's real tight but he's like a tall buck with chocolate chocolate horns <laughs> I think I seen him crack the shot was a little back though but um it was he was quartering away from me so I think I got it in there and I mean the arrow was completely buried in him so um not yet dude this just happened <laughs> Oh, go GoPro, freaking main camera. Oh. oh my God. Dylan won't answer the phone. <laughs> no, this is awesome though, because I mean, Lord willing, if I find the deer, which I mean, I should, um, I'll be able to film him the rest of the week. All right. Just got everything packed up. I'm down on the ground now. I'm gonna go to right here where I shot him. See if I can't see any blood. He was standing right here. And I was right back there. See exactly where he ran down at. I'm probably not going to go any further than this. I'm only 40 yards from where I shot him. I want to wait till I want to wait till we get Dylan. Oh, right there's my arrow. I would say that he did not make it for me. I think he smoked. <laughs> the shot, I'm still a little questionable just because, just because the shot was back a little bit. But I honestly think this deer's dead. The way he was quartering away from me, I, I, I think the arrow probably went right up into everything. I, I, I know for a fact I had to hit his lungs. So, I bet this deer didn't go 100, 200 yards. I'd be surprised if he made it past 100 or 150. So, all right. I got a little bit of a walk back to the truck, so. We're gonna get back over there, meet Dylan, come back, see if we can't find this Ohio public land buck. So, we'll be back. What's up, deer killer? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> first day. First day. First morning. First morning. First, first Anything. place we try to go. Yeah. This is my first public land buck, too. Yeah. I was thinking. I've never killed That's a public land That's what I was thinking. Buck. I was gonna ask you that. Yeah. I Freaking can't believe nuts. this. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. I didn't know the truck parked right there. Right. Oh, that's that truck we saw yesterday. Yeah, it is. But that was over on the other side, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. He's hunting close to where... I think that valley runs into where my deer ran to. How's he... Ain't, he ain't gonna answer a phone.
Dylan and I just got back down here to where I was at this morning. My tree, I don't know if you see that big poplar right there, but I was in that little tree right beside it. And that big drainage right here is where he came out of a full walk down here. He walked straight out of that drainage right there. Straight up this road, right there where those, little, those two little rubs are, and kind of acted like he was going to make a scrape. And I ain't kidding you, he walked right through here, right to almost the base of my stand. Right through here. That's the exact way he Five yards. Eight. Yeah. I can't remember if he he was he might have been standing right there. I mean he was right below me, never knew I was there or anything. So right here's where I shot him. I saw I walked down in here after I shot him, just I don't know, ten yards and I did see blood and I found my my broken off arrow, so we're gonna walk here. But where I thought I saw him crash is probably 80 yards down here on this bench. And that's the last sighting I had of him. But when I, the last sighting I had, like I said earlier, he kind of just like, he stopped right there and kind of started doing that like death wobble. So I didn't see anything after that and I didn't hear anything after that. So I didn't walk down in there or anything. I'm almost certain though that this deer is right there. I, I'm pretty sure I saw him crash. So. Dead right there. You don't see him? Look, see if you see if you find him. I don't know how I saw. I just saw white the head. I think I see him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I see him. Oh yeah, I see him. <laughs> yes, dude. Hey, I cannot believe it. Is that his head is like up? Is this just laying on something? He's just he's got to be laying on something. He hadn't moved a bit. <laughs> Nice, it's pretty nice. It'd be easy walking up on him. Yeah, I think he's. It looks like he's stuck in a branch, but I can't tell. Knock, knock one. I released it in my, <laughs> in my bag. I just left. His tongue's hanging out. It is? Yeah, he's got blood coming out of his neck. Yeah, I think he's a... I'm pretty sure he's stuck in the bush. Yeah, there's a tree underneath of his horns. I think he's a 12. 
No way. Yes. For 11. He's an 11. High and tight 11. He's dead. He's stunned. Dude, I can't believe Dude, it. Dude, that is freaking sweet. Look at this guy. For my first public land buck. Yeah. On the first day. <laughs> Give me some. I, I can't believe sweet. it. Mm. This year. I, before I even walk up this deer, I guess. This year has been... I don't believe I've yeah. never I mean I shoot my biggest buck the nine on the home farm come to Ohio and shoot a respectable Ohio land or public land buck Yeah, you're real good mass. This is awesome. This is awesome. Alrighty guys, we got him drug up here to the first little flat. I think this is where we're gonna quarter him out and skin him up and everything. And like we said, we're about a mile back in this public land, so good thing we're on a ridge, and really good thing he didn't run down in that deep ravine. He only went down there about 80 yards, so we were able to get him up almost to the top. So, like I said earlier, I mean, I've already said it once, but I couldn't have drew it up any better, I mean, for a hunt like this. The first morning, the first day, first morning, I rattle and 15 minutes, I rattled twice this morning. The first time, not so aggressive. The second time, I mean, I, I put them together. Really aggressive, and I don't know how long exactly it was, but 10, 15, 20 minutes, somewhere in that range, this buck come up out of the drainage, exactly where I thought a deer would come from. And just, I can't believe what he, he did what he did. I mean, he almost walked to the base of my tree and you guys will be able to see. I had to let my bow down twice to try to get the camera on him in two different two different spots. And um, that last time, that third time, he stopped and quartering away about 20 yards and I absolutely plugged him. I mean, it came out on the opposite side, right in the shoulder. That tough head broadhead went straight through his shoulder, the meat of, its, meat of the shoulder. So, I mean, it, I couldn't have asked for a better shot, so. He went about 80 yards and piled up and now the work begins. You ready Dylan? I suppose. <laughs> like we said we got about a mile to pack this deer out of here. Feels kind of like an elk hunt. But, well guys this was an awesome awesome hunt. We still got three well two and a half days to hunt so I'm going to be behind the camera for Dylan and Dylan's going to shoot a booner out here so. We'll be back at it here just a little bit after we get this buck packed out. She's heavy. We'll keep shaking, it's gonna come apart. I'm just making sure it's on there good. Here, mine's. Yeah. It's full, but. Yeah, Dylan, don't let them fool you. I got both meat bags and the head oh, on Oh no, my there's bag. meat in there. There there's is not. Hind quarters in there. Oh yeah. Montana or Ohio?
as the Reverend Porter. <laughs>